Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to LEGO Fortnite. Today, we are playing as the Incredible Hulk as we check out some incredible updates. I think there was the fishing ability added in this update as well as a couple of other things. Silas needs a bed apparently. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've been thinking of leaving. Oh, don't leave. I packed up all my things and now I don't even have a bed. It sounds like I should start looking for another village. Uh, no, please don't leave. If you want me to stay in your village, I'll need a bed. Otherwise, I'm going to leave. Okay, so, oh, monster's attacking. I, I'm a little confused by that, but uh, not what I wanted. <laughs> I guess I can build you a bed really quickly if you want one that badly. I thought that we already had. Where am I gonna put this one? In here, I think. Or can I open this up? Open door. I'm really surprised we don't have a bed for Silas, but can't use it in the rain. See, but assignment, assignment, yeah, Silas's bed. So, that should be good. Awesome, let's talk to some other people in the meantime because I think that they'll have some stuff for us, right? Like, uh, yeah, okay. Do you have, let's talk jobs. You're supposed to explore with me. I'll be right behind you. And these guys sh should have some stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot to do today, but I guess for right now we'll get some rewards. Marble slab, obsidian. The obsidian's pretty big. I don't have any inventory space right now, so let's fix that first, I guess. All right, running back over here. I'll start organizing stuff. We'll get started today, and hopefully things will go well. Okay, well, I cleared out my inventory. Then I came back, and it was gone. So, I don't know what happened to that stuff. I hope I can get more. Wait, what happened to it? It was right here. I turned on for two seconds, and it's gone. Why is this game so silly? I really needed that stuff. What about you? Do you have anything for me? Uh, how's your job? Marble and ground, I wanted that, no! It was right there, I'm so confused. You had it for me, and now it's gone. <laughs> all right, well, that's all this game is. I will continue to organize my inventory though, because I'm sure there's more stuff I can figure out here. Most of it though, I think we need to move to the other spot. So, maybe I'll leave that be. I do wanna get pretty prepared though, so that we can go fishing. I don't know what we need for that. We clearly need to build and set up something for it, so hopefully we can do that soon, but I'm really bummed that that obsidian slab just disappeared, literally in front of me. I don't know if it was like too close to that cat or campfire or something. It was, it was definitely weird. But I'll just keep running over here as much as I can, and then we'll hopefully get more asso associated with just like all the different updates. I think they also added a compass in this update that should give us a better idea of like what's where. I would really appreciate that. So definitely a lot of upgrades and things to focus on, but what about over here? This is where I need to organize my inventory even more, but actually I have the space for certain things now. So that should be good. I can just like stash that stuff away, go over here. This one is pretty good for that. You get the idea. So getting all of that organized, that's enough space so that I can grab this food. I'll take all of that. And then now I can talk to some of you, which looks like we're ready for an upgrade of some sort. We got Dana over here, but I can't really recruit them just yet. Um, how's your job? Slap juice, corn on the cob, fried egg. Cool. And what about you? We got slush. Your job, copper bar, glass? What is glass? Whoa, I mean, I know what glass is, but Survival compass, rare item. Okay, very cool. So I wanna make sure I get that glass. The copper bar I didn't really need as much, but I'll put that there. Glass I've never seen before in this game. That must be a new one. And then you have some stuff for me too, but before I get to it, I need to keep going. So we got a basic compass. Whoa, so cool. So definitely some stuff to add to our little collections here. Get this stuff in there. Um, the food would go in a different spot for sure. I think I should have some gear somewhere. Um. Maybe, here, this one? Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be my gear chest. So I'll, I'll stash some of that stuff away. Maybe I can keep one of these, but, um, and this one. The food, the corn on the cob is pretty good. What do I do with this? Crafting material made from sand. It's clear that this is a good material. Interesting. So if I go to my crafting bench over here, uh, well, no, that's not the crafting bench. The crafting bench is on this side. Where is all of that? So we have the purple tier stuff still here. I don't think there's anything better just yet all of our swords, it'd be over here. Yeah, here it is, the survival compass adds navigation and map markers to the HUD. Navigate the the adventure with confidence. For that, we need 10 glass, or five glass, one sand claw, and one copper bar. I can afford that for sure, so 
I definitely want that. Let's go ahead and get that glass back out then, already. Did I even put it away? No, I still have it. So I need a sand claw. I will take here. Split, got it, boom. And then copper bars, which obviously we have a bunch of. So I can just take a chunk of it like that. Run back over here and make this one then. Our survival compass, I'll craft this thing. So how do I make glass naturally? I'd imagine it would be somewhere in here. Oh, hi, do you have a job finished? How's your job? Bait bucket? Oh, okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. No problem. With the bait bucket, that's definitely for fishing. Yeah, right over here. Throws, uh, throw this into the water to attract fish. Looks delish to a fish. So how do I use this? Do I put it somewhere? If it's just on here and I run around, it doesn't seem to do anything. Do I have to hold it? Because I don't put it in any of these slots. I'm really confused. Equip. Where did, oh, it equipped over here. Very cool. So you can see on the top of the screen now, we can know where we're going at any point in time. So that's really nice. It keeps an eye on some of our markers, which is always good. We have a house there, house here, and there should be one way off that with a yellow one, but I don't think it's gonna show up because we're too far. Okay, that's really cool. There was more stuff to craft there, of course. Down this way, we also have the basic compass. For this, we just need a normal wolf claw. I'll make one for the sake of it, I guess, unless this other stuff. We got spyglass. I might wanna make this one because this is just a basic version of the survival compass. This one just probably has like the north, south, south, east, west, while this actually has markers. Yeah, so I will make this eventually for the completion's sake. But if I can save that for now and make the spy glass, I need a not root rod. I should have some of those probably in here. I just need one. So I can make a fishing rod now too. Whoa, where's the fishing rod at? Way down here. So for that, well, we'll build that in just a moment. I guess I want to eat up some food too, huh? I'll do this really quickly. Yep, gobble this stuff up just so we can get our hunger back full and then we're back to it <laughs> but that's so exciting that we're getting all that kind of stuff done um like i said back over here i need to make the spyglass a telescopic telescopic tool that magnifies distant views zoom in discover more all right boom so i got that right there craft the spyglass and survival world quest completed okay track quest was that next one complete master navigator where do I see my quests? Uh, is it a hold M? Weird. Uh, there might be other quests around that do. I would really like to do those, but I don't see them at the moment. Anyways, where's the spy glass? I just made it. It's right here. So I guess I just equip this like this, and I switch it like this. Whoa, cool. So, pretty good. Sort of magnification there. Fun view to everything. Where's Silas at? There you are. Smile. <laughs> that's a great smile, Silas. All right, well that's very cool. I don't know how often I'll use this. Just because, you know, like this building. I can still see it pretty clearly from the distance here. But it is a fun tool for sure. Um, I'm sure that over time we might be able to come up with some ideas with that. But for right now, I just wanna put it with the rest of our tools. Put this back here and I guess continue on with some other stuff. I have one more piece of glass left over, which I guess I'll save. I wanna figure out fishing now. So what did I need for fishing? Oh, are you ready for more stuff? What do you got now? How's your job? Slap just, okay, you're just making food. Um. So to make, what was it? I think the, what's it called? Um. The fishing rod, we had some different things, but I can upgrade the fishing rod even further. Okay. So that's the blue fishing rod? Okay, we got the purple one. So for that, it's a lot more expensive, of course. Maybe I can make a more basic one. Like this one shouldn't be too bad. I would need wool thread, drawstring, and flexwood rod. So I guess the, the thing I need to make sure we have here is drawstring and wool thread. The crafting stuff I have over here, do you have even more food for me? Wow, thank you. Uh, Hold on, wrong thing. Crafting away with all that, how's your job? Another bait bucket. I'll make the most out of that eventually. 
So, I don't think I have enough cords at the moment, but I can probably make more. No, wait, I have this stuff. This is what I was looking for. Uh, split, like that. And what was the other thing I needed for this purple? Or not the purple one. Because I don't have too much heavy wool thread, right? I mean, I have a lot of heavy wool. Heavy wool thread. Okay, you know, we can do that for sure. And there's the common fishing rod. I'll probably just make the top tier one for now. I don't think I need to worry about the other stuff. So if I take about half of it, get that back over here, heavy wool thread, get that all loaded up, that should start and that should help us be in a good position to make everything else work out. So yeah, we're doing pretty well here. I just need to maybe organize my inventory a little bit more while we're waiting, just like that. I don't have any room for some of this food, that is for sure. But I'm doing what I can with it. I think we have monster drops over here so I can put that there. This goes in the crafting area. Okay, I'm definitely getting things a little bit more organized. I guess I'll put the glass over here. I don't quite know how to make glass yet, but maybe if I used a shovel in the desert, I'd get sand. That's my best guess. We have a lot of food at the moment. I can put the, these copper bars back. I'm still upset that that obsidian just disappeared on me. I don't know, that part was so weird. But um, over here, I got some more of that. I can hold those seeds. I can pop some of that stuff in there. I'll keep these two. That should be good enough. So. Take all that, go back over here. What did I need for the fishing rod? Purple fishing rod needed frost pine drawstring arctic cloth. That stuff's pretty obtainable. Split, take arctic cloth. I think it was just three. Let's see. No, no, no. Split. No, no, no. What is it doing? There we go. That should be good enough to make our first ever fishing rod, a powerful rod that could be used to catch fish hooked on fishing. So if we craft this one right over here, boom, it's fishing rod time. That is so exciting. Craft the fishing rod in a survival world quest completed. Hold and the track. Holding and does not track it, it pulls up my map. I don't know what the next quest said because I was too busy trying to do that part. Okay. What did I need to upgrade this village, by the way? I probably obsidian, if I had to guess. Upgrade village. I need Malachite, Iron Bar, and Frost Pine. So no, the Iron Bar was the hard part about that. I would love to do that eventually, but I think it'll have to wait a bit. But here's my fishing rod. I just do this, and I guess I would cast the line. Whoa, neat. I don't have any water there. So I'll have to go on our map and see where I want to go. There's a little lake over here. I know we have the ocean biome right by that way. So a lot of stuff to keep in mind for sure. Um, I'll talk to a couple of our other villagers here that seem to have jobs done. Grand Adventure, Copper Bar, and Glass. The glass is the big deal there. Then you're still making food, right? More bait bucket stuff. I mean, I don't know how to make bait myself, if I'm not mistaken. If I go over to this, this is where you were making it, but yeah, not quite sure. Still not telling me how I make glass either. But if I can just make sure that I get a shovel out here, here, all my tools are in this one. Do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. I'll take the shovel with me. Okay, so I guess now's a great time to organize my inventory a little bit, and then we'll head to the body of water. If not anything else, I'll also go to that ocean biome. Lots to do today for sure. Whoa, wait a minute. Deploying our glider doesn't take stamina anymore. Whoa, so I just climbed all the way up this, and now I'm gliding down, and it doesn't take stamina anymore. This is a miracle. Wow, okay, I need to sort of adjust a little bit. Go northeast. The compass is so useful. This is a solid update, for sure. <laughs> We're just flying around with our glider as Incredible Hulk. This is amazing. So this makes the giant staircase an actual viable strategy now. I mean, I don't know if it's because I took this um, sap stuff, I mean, it increases my stamina regeneration, but as you can see, my stamina is not even being spent at all. That's really cool. It totally is a game changer. So my big goal for right now is to try to get down here because we're about to reach this big body of water. That's where I just want to um, 
make sure that we can start fishing a little bit. I have some fishing bait, so I figure I'll try it. Maybe I can figure out how to get more fishing bait soon. For right now, I just wanna get down here a little bit more and get to fishing. I'm just gonna reel it like this. Might be a little bit dangerous during the nighttime. There's skeletons around, but okay. Reel, hold it, hold it, hold it. Whoa, I got a fish. I don't wanna toss it. Uh, I just take it. Whoa, so what did we get? We got fish filet as a recipe, but we caught a blue small fry. A small and very common fish can be processed into fish fillets. Good things come in fry packages. All right, so I can catch a couple of fish here. What is that over there though? Something glowing in the water. Okay, way right here. We got smoked fry fish as well. So there's a whole host of different fish to catch here. This time I think we got another fry fish. Catch fish at night in survival world is the current mission. So we're doing pretty good there. What is with this glowy spot? Maybe we'll find fish there faster? Oh my. Uh, I see a skeleton swimming over there. We got a, another fish. What is this one? I don't know. It looks like another fry fish. Complete master fishing quest in Lego Fortnite. What else do I have to do? <laughs> I don't know. Here, I'm tossing that over there. This is so cool. Okay, I didn't mean to. And of course, with each time that we throw it out, I guess we're using up some stamina, but it's very slow going. Oh, now it's starting to rain too. Got it. Whoa. It's gonna be another small fry. It's nothing too crazy there. Lightning striking around us is sorta of scary. Not the best fishing weather, I gotta be honest. Has it ever stormed like this before? I don't know. Okay, it's a little scary. Do I, have I been using my bait? No, okay, so I throw that into the water to attract fish. So I don't actually need that to go fishing. Okay, boom, get you, and then try fishing over here. Cause I don't really get what's up with this little spot. Other than the skeletons going by it. Maybe it's just like a higher chance. I can see fish down there. Whoa, what did I get here? This is new. This is uh, some kind of different kind of fish. This is an orange flopper. A fish frequently found in many different locations can be processed into fish fillets. He looks so familiar. Boom, gotcha. Okay, so back over here, I'm just gonna toss this into this. Hopefully the skeletons leave me alone. Oh my gosh, wave break charm has been unlocked. Can you chill out? So we got a new kind of charm there. I wonder what that one does. Uh, whoa, that was scary. I really gotta get to shelter. There's another fish right there. It's a fish using a bait bucket. I didn't even use a bait bucket though. I still have all three of mine. Weird. Yeah, it just sort of gets back into that little cyclone where all the fish are. Got it. We get another one. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh man, that almost hurt. <laughs> that could have been bad. Let's get out of here. I wanna make sure we're, we're back to where it's safe. We have our village over this way. Man, this is crazy. The game's been changed so much, it's really cool. So let's get back over here as much as I can. My stamina is a little low, but we'll get there. See, it wasn't my stamina potion that made it that I can just like glide forever. That's what I wanna find out. So if I jump, glide, come on, jump and glide. Oh, it was. Okay, so now I'm not gonna be able to do that. It must have been that potion then. Good to know. I was so happy about that. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Over here, it's not an issue when it comes to uh, the storm. So that's good, we'll talk to Peely, who looks like he's sleeping, but he's not actually sleeping. Ow, cut that out. What do you got for me? Uh, how's your job? Glass and copper bar, very cool, thank you. What about you? How's your job? Not Peely, I need to talk to Gus. How's your job? Glass. So everybody's making glass now, it's like the new thing to make. Uh, we can make a standard shelf over here. Hi, Bright Bomber, how's your job? Copper bar and glass. Nobody seems to be making iron now, but glass and copper bar. I can't even hold the copper bar at the moment, I'm gonna guess. I had to make a guess, it's probably glass and copper bar, right? It is. So before I even touch that one, like what if I left it for a long time? Maybe they'd make space for iron bars, because that's what I really want anyways. So I will try to organize some more stuff in their inventory here, but I'm glad to get some fish. We'll definitely have to cook with that soon. Um, I gotta make some space somewhere though, for sure. Okay, now that I've gotten a little bit more organized, I guess my question is, is there really anything I can build with 
my glass that I haven't already built? I mean, we have over here this new wave break charm. Accelerate swimming speed. That could be good. I would need two more orange floppers. So that's why I wanted to go into the ocean and try some stuff there. We got some convening of the villagers over this way. What's up with that? Okay, let's go get more copper bars. I don't really need very much right now. I'm sure I can find a use for them though. Like if we want to make another grappling hook. Oh, hey, you have, oh no, that's right. That's right, you were making stuff already. So I'll leave that be. Can I make another grappling hook? Just for getting around. Right over your grappler, copper bar, blast powder, cord. So I would need the cord. It's gonna be the thing. I have all that I need right there, and then the powder, which should be not in here. Did I take all of it before? That's actually unbelievable. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to run into some skeletons later. For now, I won't have enough. That's okay. I'm just gonna put this wherever I can put it, right there. And I think that's enough of my inventory we can organize. Maybe I put this, what if I swap these out? There you go, I'm just gonna do that, and then, wait, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Boom, I'm just gonna do that. We'll just take it all. Should be fine. Uh, interesting stuff for sure. I wanna go fishing again. Maybe even throw some of that stuff out there. We wanna go to the ocean this time though. So the ocean of course is east of here. So let's make sure we go there. Also, do I have my respawn set here? I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. I gotta be careful then. But if I could just get up here one way or another, I need to go east, basically straight east. We should be able to make some stuff work from that. Maybe I'll, I'll eat up one of these. We'll see if that makes it so I can glide. No, I don't know, was that just a weird glitch that I was able to start gliding without losing stamina at that time? Weird, I guess so. So now I'm just like trying to find a way to get over there. Huh, maybe if I start from running? Yeah, I don't know how I did that. How did I start gliding without I thought that was a cool extra update. No, it wasn't. That would have been really nice, but I guess not. Okay, so we go over here. It was in this direction, yeah. I need to just run to the ocean. We've been there before. Hopefully this time we can run there again. I'm gonna save that for later. <laughs> but uh, we can run there again and get some stuff. I could also switch this out for now and fight some of these guys. Yep, they're gonna try to explode on me. Get some extra blast cores. They're always nice to have. Ready? Got it, okay. I'm picking that up. Thank you for the blast core. Reflect charm. Ooh, so for picking things up that we already had before, we're getting new types of charms popping up. I'll have to check out what that is at some point, but for right now, we're almost at this ocean. I'll have to jump and glide from here. I see it in the distance. I don't know if that counts as like a a river or an ocean just yet, but we'll find out. For right now, I'm just sort of bouncing over here. Got it. Right there. Ooh. And we're almost there. Ooh, okay. Not the kind of enemy I'm really looking for. Looking for the ones that drop last cores. So we might as well go fishing around here and just see what ends up happening. Because if I jump into this, it says water, but not ocean. But I do see, you see that big sort of glowy spot down that way? If I had the spyglass, I guess I could have used that. Oh well. Oh, it's going really far out there too. So I grab something, I'm holding it. Whoa, what did we get? I don't know. Interesting. That was a, uh, Yellow slurp fish, rare. A fish found underground or in warm locations. Can be processed into fish fillets or in, and slurp juice. Very cool. So it looks like it's also like good alternatives for stuff that we've already made before. Good to keep in mind for sure. Okay, so I guess we overheat here, but it's fine. Where oh, that glowy spot is over there. I'm out of stamina at the moment. So we don't drown? I don't know, I feel like that's been changed then. I'm just trying to get over there. I don't know if I'll be able to without drowning, but we'll find out. Can I swim any faster? It doesn't seem like it. If I can just get onto that rock and just start fishing from there, that'd be pretty cool though, right? We can just try to fill up our inventory with fish for a bit. Ready, 
and boom, made it. Just on our little fishing rock here, very relaxing. Toss it, no, bring that back. All ready, got it. Who wants something? All right, are they gonna bite? They, they bit, they bit. What do we get this time? Uh, this is, I think, yeah, another orange flopper. We're taking some heat damage, but I think we're, we're healing it back up. I forgot to bring the one thing. That's okay. But yeah, this is the fishing update. I think it's a pretty cool concept. I think we'll have a lot of fun trying to catch all the fish and stuff. It does, of course, remind me of things like Animal Crossing quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh, darn. I was too busy talking. Yeah, beyond that, I'm also playing with the Incredible Hulk costume. I mentioned it before, but I love to hear your thoughts on everything, both this new update and Wood, okay, uh, and the Incredible Hulk costume. What are your thoughts on everything? I think it's a cool costume. All these like Avenger costumes. I think there were some that I unfortunately missed, but hopefully at some point I'll get the chance to try them out. But I get another fish here. I think it was another one of the flounders, which I needed for the one totem. It was five of those, or whatever they're called. And there's another one. So building up a little bit of a collection of those. I was hoping for maybe something a little bit more uncommon. The orange flopper, though, is stack it up. That's our sixth one. And I could just eat one of the floppers if I really need to, I'm sure. But whoa, I get another flopper. I think I'll fish on this one one more time. If that doesn't yield me much results, I wanna try throwing some fish bait. I think that's probably just gonna make a little whirlpool just like this is making now. Oh, come on, one more fish here. Gotta get something new, right? Got it. It's more logs. Okay, let me toss it over here. And with this, what do I got? Anything? More logs. I think that's the game telling me to fish somewhere else. Let's try going to the ocean. I think it might be faster to just run to all these. Come on. Got it. All my stamina restore. Can I glide it all? Not really. Just trying to get out of the water here and then down that way. Okay, stamina. Not quite making it. I think I can make it back to the shore from here. But so far, I'm really impressed by the fishing update. I think it's pretty cool to uh, get extra mechanics like this and new things to build and explore in the game. And there's still some stuff to explore in the game that I, I've yet to, just in general, but now we're getting there. And now we'll have more stuff to make ourselves even stronger, so that's cool. But it seems like, you know, the LEGO Fortnite team has done a pretty good job on their promise to continually support the game after it's been released. So that's pretty nice. So I will try to charge up from here. We got like this rapid water going down. I wanna see if we can't catch something maybe a little bit more unique from this. So far now. So I will just from here glide for a bit <laughs> as long as I can. I wanna get to the more oceanic parts of it, where it's actually a beach and stuff. So what we're about to do. Can I get up there? Not really. Okay, this is a little bit scary. I don't wanna be, we're entering water. We're not entering ocean, which is what it said before, is that we were in the ocean, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm running over, almost there. And what do we got going on around these parts? So now we're at the dry valley. What were we at before? Um, weird. Entering water. I'm pretty sure this is where I was when I was saying that I was like at the, the beach or is that the ocean? Maybe not. I don't know where else that would be though. I mean, I guess if I keep going south, it turns into at least a grasslands biome. These little puddles of water, I guess from the, the rising and lowering tide is pretty cool. Will the tide actually change? during day and night, because it's so that's a really cool touch. For sure. Little extra details like that go a long way in making the game feel super immersive in my opinion. So we're in the grasslands. If I were to go to like a rock out there, would that change much? I don't know. You would think this would be at least like ocean fish from here. Instead of like freshwater fish, we have saltwater fish. Is that gonna be the case? I reeled this back in and there we go. We got like a jellyfish or something. That's from the ocean. 
So, we got some slurp juice from that. That is a slurp jellyfish. A fish found in the ocean can be processed into slurp juice. Elegant, mysterious, delicious. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep chilling out over here then. Reel that out as far as I can. And while that's going, ah, oh, not quite. I wanted to get this here. Just so that when I can, we should probably try throwing out some bait. What do I get, what do I get? Nothing? Why'd I get nothing? Let me go onto one of these rocks and I wanna get farther out. Almost there. Get ready and jump. And once I'm on one of these rocks, cast it out like this. And let's see if there's any bites out here. Okay. Whoa, what do we get this time? Something cool? It is the black and blue shield fish. A fish often found in many different locations can be processed into fish fillets. A very defensive fish. Cool. Let's go ahead and try some of these bait buckets. So I do this and that, whoa, look at this stuff. So it's like bright green. I toss this in and maybe we get ocean fish. Whoa, we get another one of these shield fish. That's gonna be another quest completed. Complete master fishing quest in like a Fortnite. What's the next one now? I don't know if it's gonna tell me. For right now, I will just continue to fish out of this little portal. Because it seems to be really useful. I can't imagine it lasts super long. Got it? I didn't get anything out of that one. I think I didn't hold it, I just tapped it. And that's probably an issue. Come on, here it comes. Whoa, we get you again. I mean, with this I'll be able to definitely make that one totem. Oh wow, wait, I thought that was the tide. I think that was the light <laughs> reflecting off of it. Hard to tell if the water's changing or not, at least from this angle. Is the sun setting or rising? Uh, I think the sun is setting, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we'll have to wait and see if the tide's gonna change with that, but whoa, we get another jellyfish. The water does look so cool now. I'm very impressed with the changes they made to the game. So. I grab this one, and I think we're about to tap out with this. I'll go with one more fish here. There's up to 11 orange floppers. Not seeing too much new stuff. And, whoa, just a mine. Okay, I thought that was something cool, like a snake or something, I don't know. Some sea cucumbers. Let's get this one, it's another flopper. One more time, I really wanna see if we get something new. If we don't get something new this time, I'll get out of here. Whoa, hey, I got something new. An anglerfish, right? Looks like it. That is the purple thermal fish. A fish often found in hot locations. Can be processed into fish fillets. Always cool, never frozen. So I wonder if we can find, oh my. Uh, I'll do this and then I will eat some food. What do I get this time? The shield fish again. So, uh, I definitely have some food on me, right? Yep, right there. Eat this up. We can fill up our hunger all the way, but I haven't found any bodies of water in a cold biome yet, have I? Ooh, there's one right down there. So definitely something worth investigating. I might be able to find new kinds of fish there too. But for right now, I'm gonna reel this up. And that was the last of my bait. That was pretty cool. I think at this point, I'm feeling pretty good about the idea of just heading home. We, we got some fishing out of our system. It was really cool. It was incredible. I suppose you could say. I think now might be a good time to at least head back to one of our villages. So we're finally back at this village. All in all, a pretty impressive update. I'm liking the fishing quite a lot. I'm glad that we could get some extra fish and stuff. I don't see anything else that these guys have. I know that you still have stuff. How's your job? I just wanna see if I can let them wait. Will they eventually just start making iron ore as well? Because if so, that'll be what's most worth it. I think that now that we're back over here, I would really like to make, we got this reflection charm. With that, I guess, uh, reflects a moderate amount of damage back to the attacker that requires the vendetta flopper, which I did not see at all. So a lot of fishing required for some of these new things. 
but it was the wave break charm which accelerates sw swimming speed this could be really good um i need silk thread plank sand shell and orange flopper um the silk thread would have caught of course require silk so i'd probably just want to organize my inventory enough to actually be able to access stuff like that i will need to put the pepper away and wood over there i did need to take some plank though so i'll take that stack get back over here and get that just like that go back over here to the silk thread load that up a little bit what else did we need for it i think that might have been about it sand shell so i go back over here and it should be right there no you know wait. oh you know i probably don't have many right now Unless I put it somewhere else. I'm a little confused right now. Yeah, I don't have any right now. Darn. But I can bring all this stuff back to the other village at some point and make that. Because I think I have some sand chills there. I don't see any of them out and about right now. Or I would just go try that now. Does Pilly have anything for me? Doesn't seem like it. I'm not seeing any of those enemies. I don't want to go too far from the village. But yeah, we'll have to keep on building up more of our collection with other things for sure and see if we can't end up um getting more progress i know we need to go back to some of the ice caves soon and along with it just get more iron ore that's been a difficult thing for me is getting a lot of iron ore figured out just because those caves are so difficult to survive in and it just feels like a forever amount of grinding to the point where it gets a little disinteresting to me so it seems like little updates like this might make it a little bit more easy to get through stuff in the game so hopefully that's the case but for right now that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of lego fortnite thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye